Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Rock and Tube. Uh, I'm Gar. On this one, I'm going to be having a quick look at Theraforza Sturmy, so the Burgundy Goliath Bird Eater. I've been just pottering around as I normally do. It's molted. Let's check that mold and see if we can sex it to see if it's male or female. So um, let's have a look at the spiders. I've just checked up on this one while doing some feeding and maintenance, and this is now the unsexed Theraforza. Do this slowly because they're skittish. Hold on. So this one's just doing a stretch after molting. It's a fresh molt therapose, a sturmy. So the Burgundy Goliath bird eater. Now I was wondering why it was off his food. Now I grew this one from a spiderling. So I'm really, really quite um, looking forward to being able to sex this one. I should be, at this size, quite easy to do. So I want to show you uh, how I do it. Well, I'll say how I do it. It's pretty easy how you do it. But what you're looking for, hopefully, and I sex the other one male. So I'm hoping that this is a female, obviously. You can see the um, contrasting colours, so when they're fresh molted, they're dark, like that red seti on the abdomen, and then the um, striations on the on the patella, and mostly down the leg as well. This one's still got a tiny little bit of pink on the leg one, so she's got it's got a lot of growing to do. So let's get this molt out. Hopefully she didn't realise and go bonkers. Let's have another look, good look at her. That was one awesome looking spider. I think you probably agree with me. Beast of a spider. Now we can kind of get a good size. So diagonal. So measure a spider diagonally from leg one to leg four. Now I'm I'm doing it here. She's about 14 centimeters already. So 14 centimeters is about. Uh, five and a half inches. So she's got about four inches of growing left. If not, like more. I think tiny was ten, just about just over ten inches leg span when she passed away. So let's uh, fingers crossed for. A beast of a female. Now let's go. Come on, let's go have a quick look at this molt. We'll come back to this spider now. So you don't really need a microscope uh, for things. Well, a jeweler's loop or something, a USB microscope from like, um, you know, eBay or, eBay or Amazon or something. You don't need like, a, I used to have a, um, uh, what they called? A big microscope, a fucking, um, oh, it's an apex. <sighs> My mind is shite today, I'm telling you. Um, so let's just capture this. Hold on, start capture. So you can see what I'm on about. And then um, just 
just have a quick look. So what we're looking for is around like here, uh, here, sorry. Can you see where my... So that's a book lung. That's the other book lung. And in between the two book lungs is the epigastric furrow. And on a female, you should have a spermathica. And on this one, I can't see any. So we're looking like, hang on, let me try and just move that a tiny little bit. There's water in there, so let's try and dab that out. Nope, so that is a male. Oh, I don't know, hang on. What's that there? Nah. And if you see anything different on there, let me know in the comments, but I'm pretty sure that that's a male. Oh well, shit happens. And, all right, so not to worry, um, still an amazing spider and I'm gonna enjoy it until um, maturity. So until next time, like and subscribe, like, uh, and I'll pop some more videos out next week, seeing that I'm now off for a little bit. Uh, I'll be very busy on night shifts in work, so I've been absolutely wrecked, too wrecked to make videos. I'm itching just from handling that molt. Ugh. And any UK peoples, uh, check out the website. There's some stuff there that's for sale before it gets too cold for invertebrates to go through the post. Take care. Stay safe.